Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to whenever you're watching this show. And today is Sunday, and yes, it's video games and consoles from the loft. <laughs> Well, welcome to part four, or part 14. And today for you, I have two fairly rare items to show you. Both were manufactured in Taiwan, and both were created by Gakken of Japan. And also, they were both licensed out and sold by Lanzi from France. Well, let's start off with this one. And this is Defender by Gakken. Well, there are two pieces of information that I could dish out today, one for Gakken of Japan and the other of Lanzi of France. So we'll start off with Gakken. Well, Gakken are based in Japan and they were founded in 1947 and during the 1980s they released many popular handheld and tabletop games like this one. They also distributed them around the world to many other different companies like in the US, the UK and mainland Europe. Well, this is Defender, so let's take a closer look. Well, this is another really well packaged item. Although it's mainly written in French, there is some English as well, but they're obviously mainly in French as this game was distributed by Lanzi in France. But they made a really good job, uh, Gakken, of packaging their items and you get lovely polystyrene inserts and two instruction manuals as well, one in French and one in English. And if I take the game out of its plastic cover, we can get a closer look. And it's in mint condition, I swear. And underneath, and in the battery compartment you'll need to fit four of those lovely C batteries but once again not to worry as on the right hand side of the game there is an AC adapter port as you can see and it has some cool stickers on the sides and it looks extremely good and if we look to the screen now you've got all the information that you need to know during gameplay so you know exactly where how you stand during the game you've got a great control stick arcade style for moving your missile left right up and down and you also in the middle there you have a power switch but you can turn the power switch on with the sound on and off at the same time you also have your missile and bomb buttons and now let's look at some gameplay. Well, just before we start some gameplay, I thought this would be fairly amusing. This is the English deciphered version of the French manual, I'm supposing. Uh, right, move your rocket with the control stick to avoid the chasing bomb. Well, that makes sense. The Runda and the Mutanta. Yeah, what? Score points when you destroy the Runda and the Mutanta or blow up the missile and bomb button and the rocket pick up the person, take the falling person to ground safety. Well, yeah, that doesn't really make much sense, does it? Well, let's move on to the game now, and I'm turning the power on with the sound on, and the object of this game is to prevent the alien spaceships from landing on the Earth and stealing the human beings, and you have to, with your missile, shoot them down as quickly as possible and just prevent them from landing in the first place. And it's extremely addictive, and it works really, really well. Well this is another one of my favourite games from my collection and is really good fun to play and is unlike your typical Space Invader types of games. And the great screen gives off that cool 3D effect and also makes for nice smooth gameplay and apart from this dodgy manual that someone's decided to decipher, well I give this game the thumbs up and it's really good fun. Well this is one from Gakken, let's look at another and this is Basketball. Well, we know Gakken produced both these games today, but who are Lanzi who distributed these games in France? Well, they were founded in 1972 and they also have their own toy company producing many preschool toys and electronic learning aids. And they also imported and rebranded many games like this from around the world. And this is Basketball, which was released around 1983. So, 
Let's take a closer look. Well, this game is also packaged much the same as the Defender game from Lanzi, obviously mainly in French, but there is again uh, some English and again another great item that Gacken have packaged up and a great polystyrene inserts to keep the game nice and snug. This time I only have one of the instruction manuals and yes unfortunately it's in French but that doesn't matter because this game is really easy to play and it's so simple and you can work it out pretty much straight away and here it is it's based on the same styling as the Defender game and looks pretty much the same except it's a different colour and has different controls and obviously it's a different game. Got your AC adapter connection on the side and also once again you'll need to fit four of those big C batteries but don't worry because uh, they work extremely well and they'll last a long time. Here's the screen itself, pretty simple layout, easy as a basketball court with your score system. And here are the controls and you have player one controls and player two controls. You have an on uh, off switch there and you have amateur or pro setting skill one and two and obviously here are your controls these are the player two controls you've got your four cursors left right up and down and the same for player one as well which are nice soft easy to use pads and your pass and shoot buttons well let's look at some gameplay So I'm going to select an amateur because it's actually quite hard playing against a pro and of course it's for two players and uh, obviously you can't select a one player mode and have the computer control the second player so you really need two players. So I'm playing for both players at the moment but and uh, I'm controlling the green team and the computer is the orange team and obviously just like a basketball game moving up and down the court and trying to shoot into the basketball net and it is a really good fun game and really addictive and also you can do fouls and have a three point shootout as well um, but as I said before really addictive a good little quirky game it's just so simple and that's what I like about it simple controls and simple gameplay Well, this is another great item from Gacken. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. It's got simple controls, it's got a simply laid out screen, it's got great gameplay, and even better, it's for two players. And you'll have endless hours of great addictive fun. I just think it's absolutely brilliant, and I love it. Well, if you'd like to own either of the items that I've reviewed today, then well, to be honest, I'm actually finding it hard to put a price on either of these items because they don't come up on eBay all that often because they are really that rare but I have seen them on eBay for a buy it now price from anything from 50 to about 80 pounds so I'm supposing if they do come up for sale then you know, you're probably looking at anything from 30 to 50 pounds to 40 to 60 dollars but I really am guessing at that as they are quite hard to find well these are a couple of my rare items in my collection and I really hope you've enjoyed them but I did actually promise you this weekend that I was going to be reviewing two items, uh, one from Grandstand and one from Namco. And this is Patland from uh, Namco and the Firefox F7. Well, I'll get around to reviewing these next weekend. And I really hope you've enjoyed watching today. I'm really enjoying making this series of video games and consoles from the loft. It really is good fun. And I really appreciate you all for watching every Sunday. And I'd just like to say thank you all very much. Well, enjoy the rest of your weekend, have a great week, and I'll see you next Sunday. Thanks for watching.